Wakey, 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 wakey. It's time for school. Come on. Wake up. It's time for school. Come on, man. Welcome and thanks for clicking. Without wasting any time, let's get into it. What is Cardano? What is ADA? Well, Cardano is a blockchain network created in 2015 and is a proof of stake cryptocurrency. Its coin, ADA, currently the eighth biggest in market cap, built to address problems dealing with scalability and energy efficiency that both Bitcoin and Ethereum were facing. It, as in the Cardano network, was built to be sustainable, interoperable, and scalable, says Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano, and also being a co-founder of the Ethereum network. Cardano, the network is named after Geromolo Cardano, an Italian mathematician from Pavia, Italy. And the native coin, ADA, or ADA, launched in 2017, that is, used to pay for transactions on the Cardano network, is named after English-born Ada Lovelace, a 19th century mathematician and the world's first computer programmer. The total supply of the coin is 45 billion, with just 35 billion Ada in circulation, according to CoinGecko at the time of this recording, with Ada having an all-time high of $3.10 in September of 2021. Now, let's go back and talk a little bit more about Cardano and its network and how it differs from other layer one blockchain networks. The Cardano network is split into two different layers. First, we have the settlement layer. And then, second, we have the computation layer. Let's start with the settlement layer. The settlement layer, job, is to keep track of all Cardano account balances and how many coins on an account has, including the native coin, ADA. This is Cardano's decentralized ledger, which is where all transactions are kept. The second layer on the Cardano network, called the computation layer, in the computation layer is where all the computing and calculation behind the transfers happen and also where smart contracts run on Cardano's network. Cardano's network allows its users to continue to transfer and settle payments, even as the computation layer is being upgraded. And we have already seen some of these upgrades as well. Like for example, the Alonzo upgrade back in September of 2021 which then brought smart contracts functionality to Cardano. As well at that time, the high for ADA, like we spoke about earlier, of $3.10. Cardano uses a programming language called Plutus for their smart contracts, which Plutus is described as a smart contract oriented programming language built for developers to create dApps, decentralized applications, tokens. The Cardano network attains its consensus with its own proof of stake mechanism called Ouroboros. Ouroboros permits its users to earn rewards in two different ways. One of those ways is to run your own stake pool and the second is to stake your ADA into an already existing pool which is similar with many other proof of stake layer 1 blockchains. If you don't currently have the resources or unable to run your own validator on the network, your own pool, you can delegate your own stake, your own coins, your own ADA to another validator and your coins in a staking pool to earn rewards and receive ADA in return, all while helping to secure the Cardano network. Staking in the Cardano network is also a bit different than with other blockchains. The first being there is no lockout period. When you stake your coins, you are actually staking your Cardano address. All of your ADA coins are considered to be staked. But with a no lockout period, you are able to keep transacting with your coins at any time. And when the time comes to issue your staking rewards, a snapshot, 
is taken and your ADA balance at that moment will be used in order to calculate your rewards. The second way in which staking with Cardano is different, there is no what is called slashing, which we see in other layer one blockchains. Slashing is used to protect the network in case of a malicious validator trying to create a fake block on the chain. Part of their stake is slashed, taken, and it's gone forever. However, Cardano mechanisms work with zero punishment, so there is no slashing here. Instead of Cardano taking or slashing such acts, the network uses a game theory and math base models to ensure that honest actors are rewarded properly, while malicious and fraudulent ones receive nothing. That's a general outline of the tech behind the Cardano network. The developing and flourishing ecosystem that makes use of the technology began to form back in 2021. And since that time, we have begun to see NFTs on the network, along with DEXs and Cardano DeFi projects like AADA protocol, with smart contracts being still somewhat new to the network, the network continues to develop and is mostly focused on two things, one being governance and the other being scaling. The Cardano team is also working on the blockchain self-sustainable, starting a decentralized voting and treasury system, which then in turn leaves the network in the hands of the community. Now that's what I call true decentralization. Thanks for clicking. Thanks for watching and have a good morning, a good afternoon, and a great night. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.